Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Welcome to the first Daily AC race review in quite a number of months. Decided, why not? Got a half decent race here to put together. Why not share it with you guys out there? It's this week's Daily AC at Sardinia Road Track A in reverse. It's meant to be a Group 4 race, but essentially it has become a one make Alpha 155 uh, race just because the car is so far superior to every other Group 4 car, certainly around this track. Uh, I reckon it's got at least half a second over absolutely everything else. And it turns out, you know, if you make the car 300 kilograms lighter than most of the other Group 4 cars out there, then it has overpowered acceleration. We did the strategy guide for this race yesterday. As you well know, no real strategy in this one. It's uh, just racing hard tyres. Tyre wears only at times five. Uh, maybe suffer a little bit of tyre degradation towards the end, but yeah, nothing to worry about. No mandatory pit stops or tyres in this one, so essentially a sprint to finish. 10 laps to get round. As I said, the vast majority of the field in the Alpha 155. Shout out to Josh in front of us who has uh, bucked the train by going in the Subaru WRX. Unfortunately, he's picked up a half second penalty on turn one. We were very lucky not to pick up a half second penalty, uh, penalty ourselves. But yeah, we got away with that, so a uh, little bit of luck in the opening stages of this one. So yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. You may well be asking, having seen the thumbnail, have I joined TCR? The answer to that is no, I have not. I just decided to go looking for a new livery for my Alpha 155 before this race started. Couldn't really find anything I was particularly keen on, then came across the TCR livery. It's obviously, if you're not aware, it's uh, Tichney's uh, community racing team. That he set up, you know, there's no real restrictions for joining his team as far as I'm aware, except you have to race clean, be fair, and yeah, have fun. And I think, you know, we kind of somewhat embody those values in our racing as well. So I didn't feel too guilty about putting the livery on the car. If you don't know who Tidgeny is, and I would be very surprised if you didn't, he is a, a, another Gran Turismo and sim racing YouTuber, so do check out his channel. It puts out a lot of useful information, but yeah, that's the that's the elephant in the room address. We have not joined TCR, just like delivery. Let's get on with the race though. We've made up a couple of positions. Obviously, Josh uh, served that penalty, uh, and the German driver he had a little bit of an excursion with a wall. Any instances or incidents that happened during this race that kind of result in me changing positions, I shall show you some replay footage towards the end. So we've made up another position there as uh, the Czech driver Ace has, uh, I'm going to assume, well I know now actually, yes, has a broken engine at that point. And yeah, I think we kind of called this one quite well in the strategy guide to be honest with you. Obviously, not a whole lot of strategy, just a little bit of tyre wear towards the end. But this race is all about that turn one and all about that very much increased sensitivity in the damage. And, Essentially, you know, all I did here, as, as I said in the strategy guide, was keep the car out the wall, keep it clean. And yeah, we made up positions as other drivers had uh, little excursions, had little incidents with other drivers, hit the wall, broke their suspension, broke their engines, and yeah, we were just on hand to capitalise on some of those uh, adverse incidents for other drivers and make up some positions. We're up to P13 now, we're going to make up another position here as Ram Tyler is going very slow. It looks like a broken engine to me. So that's us up into P12. We've got heat on at 93 ahead of us. We've got quite a, quite a well-knowing, uh, known grid here of drivers. It was 8 p.m. on Monday. So probably about as competitive as the race was going to get in terms of the drivers in it. But that wasn't, didn't feel quite like the same star studded with a few World Tour drivers uh, Monday night race. But it's definitely a lot of pace in the grid. That is for sure. You had Rory was up towards the front as well streaming. You had Z28 from the USA was also in this race streaming as well. Obviously key up in P2 and yeah, there was a handful of extremely fast drivers uh, starting in this one. So we're going to make up another position here. We kind of tactically played that one through the last corner. Got a good run out of it. Gave Muscafi a little bit of a bump. Uh, bump draft there and then used the slipstream to get ahead of Heat on 93. Shout out to Muscafi as well who also streams and is also a fellow cockpit player. And he's also really increased his speed quite dramatically in the last few months. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Muscafi because he pretty much suffers all the same visibility problems that I do when we play the game. So, And he's also a very, very clean racer. 
raced him many times in the past. Always very fair and respectful driver, and always uh, always good to race. So, shout out to Muscafi. So P11 now. We are up behind Muscafi, and we are trying to put him under as much pressure as possible. In a little bit of a train here, it's one of these kind of awkward situations when you're racing, when you're very close to the car in front, and you've got a car very close behind you. So, you know, you can't brake too early because you'll catch out the car behind. Uh, but you've also got to be careful enough to not, you know, hit into the car in front. So I always find these uh, situations quite intense when you are very much uh, in a pack of similar speed drivers. And I'm going to get caught out here by Heat on 93 as we come into the braking zone here for the tight left-hander. Now I had no idea his car was there until we had a little bit of contact. As I said, I was actually more concentrating on that point on not going into the back of Muscafi because it's one of those corners where I think drivers do have. Uh, fairly different braking points because you can kind of take that left-hander in a couple of different manners but it did result in us having a nice bit of side-by-side -side racing here with heat on 93 we got the line all wrong into the last corner because we kind of had to approach the corner from a little bit of a funny angle it's going to allow heat on 93 to get the undercut on as you can see on the radar there he is uh, to our right hand side he's got a little bit more over speed so we just came off the throttle because I very much followed my own advice from the strategy guide and not attempt to go through this corner side by side with another car because it just results in death for either one or both drivers. So a position loss down into P12 now and we are on to lap 5 so approaching the halfway point. Heat on 93 there having a little bit of a moment uh, but yeah, not quite enough to capitalise so it's time to try and apply some pressure or if you like Put the heat on heat on 93, bada boom. You see what I did there. Jump forward here to the start of lap six. We've got a decent slipstream here down in towards turn number one, but yeah, just taking it nice and easy through here. Wasn't under any pressure from any cars behind, so I had that luxury of just being able to take it nice and easy uh, through turn one. But yeah, heat on 93, we're sort of very much able to keep pace with him, but I'm not really wanting to try and go for any kind of silly move here. I can see there's a big gaggle of cars up ahead. We are very much looking slightly further up the road. Maybe heat on 93 was also looking at, maybe even Muscafi as well, because both of them have had an instant there into that very fast right hander. Very easy to get that corner wrong in fairness. You can easily clip the barrier on the inside, or if you understeer, clip the barrier on the outside. And again, with that very much increased damage sensitivity model those little uh, excursions those little brushes with the wall are going to be very much punished now i have to say a very very big fan of that indeed now there's a french driver has got turn one all sorts of wrong i would imagine the car is in all sorts of uh, funny pieces now and then we get caught out here by the finished driver very annoying situation this he hits the wall on the inside basically comes to almost a dead halt and we drive into the back of him. Gives Muscafi the run up the inside of us into that uh, fast uh, right hander where we see them having a little bit of an excursion just a lap before. And yeah, always one of those very annoying situations when another driver's uh, small accident actually costs you a position. But that's the nature of racing. Sometimes you win out from those situations, sometimes you lose out. On this occasion, we lost out. And that put us back down into P10 and halfway through lap 8 we were now three quarters of the way through the race and starting to run out of laps if we're going to make too much more progress but we're still right behind the Muscafi we could see there was two cars just up ahead as well and yeah I still had a little bit of hope that we could make up some positions on this one it was all about keeping the pressure on Muscafi definitely felt like we had a little bit more pace uh, in some of the corners Muscafi seemed to have a little bit more pace than some others but overall I think we had the pace and that pressure was to pay off as we come into very very tricky corner that uh, sort of 90 degree uh, right hander Muscafi just gets it a little bit wrong it just gives us a little bit of overlap down into the, the left right here and Muscafi being the fair driver up that he has gives us the room and filters back in that was us up into P9 and I pretty much thought this was as high as we were going to get but you know things start to get a little bit desperate towards the end when there's drivers in close uh, proximity to each other so there's always that potential if we could just keep the pressure on or be in position to capitalise on maybe a little incident that we can make up a position into the top 8. I always like to make it into the top 8 because it means you appear on the leaderboard or the relative of all the other drivers in front of you which you know I don't know why it just makes the result feel just a little bit better but yeah as I said 
a little bit of a desperate move here from the finish driver against Sam Webb. He's going to put Sam into the wall. He's going to cut damage from that. I was expecting a bit of a penalty to pop up here for the finish driver. Uh, but it wasn't to be the case. That would have been a top seven had that uh, materialised. But we've still got a few corners to go. We've got a better run than the finish driver out of the, the right hander here, but it's a very tricky complex to try and make an overtake. Can we kind of maybe get him out of shape and get a real little bit of a cutback? That was the plan here. Tried to go a little bit wide, but kind of a little bit too much speed in. And yeah, we've got a better run out the corner. We're going to get the slipstream all the way down to the line, but it's not going to be enough. But P8, not too shabby a result from P16. Given it was Monday, it was 8pm, the grid was pretty strong. Rachel only you know, three seconds off a P5, actually only four seconds off a P4, so, yeah, I think those drivers up ahead obviously had a little bit of a battle, but, you know, it wasn't like we weren't losing time ourselves, so I was quite happy with the pace, I think we've got a little bit of pace, I think we're getting into the 49s there, in clean air, so, bodes fairly well for the rest of the week, but yeah, I thought it was a good race, thank you to Miscafe and Heat on 93, and Josh, who I was racing with, uh, these, uh, these people sometimes come in to the chat when we're doing some live streams. It's always a, a pleasure to race uh, with some known faces. But yeah, I'll leave you with some uh, replay footage of the instances that happened to drivers that we were able to capitalise on. Kind of highlights the, the, the damage sensitivity model quite nicely as well. But yeah, very good fun race. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you had, please hit the like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall catch you on the next one. Goodbye now.